Hey everyone, it's Lisa Van Gammert at giftedguru.com and I'm here to show you a quick tutorial on how to crop pictures to a shape in PowerPoint. I think this is something that a lot of teachers or people in general don't necessarily use and it's super easy and useful, which is my favorite combination. So let me show you how to do it. First, you need a picture that you want to crop. So let's go grab a picture. Um, I'll start with one of these and just insert the picture into the PowerPoint slide. So it came in as a square, right? But I can make it anything I want just by doing this. On the Format tab, right up here where it says Format, one of the options is Crop. I'm going to actually turn off Design Ideas here um, to give me a little bit more space on my canvas. But in the drop-down of Crop, so this Crop, if you just click this one, it gives you these black thing and you can make it any size you want. But watch this, in the drop-down where it says Crop to Shape, then you can instantly turn the picture into any shape you want. Now it's an arrow. Now it's a, let's do something else cool, a heart, right? And then, watch this. Let's say I did this heart and I think, oh, but that would have been better as a different, um, that would have been better as a different picture. I right click and click change picture and say, you know what, that would have looked better if it were the red one. And now it keeps the same shape, but it's a different one. Isn't that amazing? Um, and so let me, let me do another one, right? Let me, let me do another one. Let me um, let, let's uh, duplicate this slide and um, and show you another picture. So I'll insert another picture. Let me go to downloads here and find kind of a regular picture. Let's find a picture. I used this picture recently. And this picture was designed to fill a PowerPoint slide, which is great. But let's say I didn't necessarily want to fill a PowerPoint slide. Let's say I want to crop it into a, a teardrop shape. Now look, it's a little distorted, isn't it? But watch, I can just grab it and pull it in to make it more the size I want. But it, let's say I don't like that shape. I think, oh, that didn't really work for me. How about if I do it as a rectangle? But I like the rectangles with these like pointed corners. They call it diagonal corners rounded. And then I can stretch it out if I want it to be a full thing um, to cover the whole slide. I can, um, let's make it a circle, which the circle in PowerPoint really is rectangle. You have to then drag it to make it a circle yourself like this. Um, but any shape you want, you can do that. Now, um, the another thing that you can do here is aspect ratio. You can um, change the aspect ratio if you want to in that same thing. And this is just like um, four to three is a normal PowerPoint slide. Um, and you can 16 to 9 is the widescreen version. So you can play around with that a little bit. But this crop to shape is super easy. You know what? While I'm here, in case you haven't watched any of the other tutorials, let me show you how I did this. This is under that same format tab under text fill. I chose picture and I chose those, um, these are these glitter papers. And I just got these off Teachers Pay Teachers. It was really pretty inexpensive. But I insert that, and now it inserts the picture in to fill the text. And I can make the text any picture that I want. Let me show you again how I did that. Text fill, you have to be in the Format tab. Text fill, picture, then choose whatever picture you want, insert. And then it fills the picture, it fills the text with that picture. It only works on fat font. You can't do it with a super thin font, right? Like here, I'll show you. This gifted guru font is a thin font. Let's do picture. It just won't look quite as good, right? So let's try that. Yeah, I mean, it, you can do it, but it, it, it doesn't have the same effect because it's too thin. But you can do it with these fat fonts. And you can do any picture you want. I could insert the picture that I had um, that any, any of them, any, any picture that you want. So let's make it just this picture. You can do any picture you want to do the font, but what I really want to show you was crop to shape. And I hope that you found it useful.